matchup between Yoel Romero and Ronaldo Sosa. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago. But he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now on seating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own. 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge to date. the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Romero is three years his senior. The rest of the numbers are effectively identical. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introduce the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Ronaldo Jacare Souza. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, 5 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world. Noel, soldier of God, Romero! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, come out for you. Right, so here we go with round one, and fear is not a factor for him. He feels so confident in all of his skills. 
We don't care what John, what he John, it doesn't, John, it doesn't matter. It does not matter how well you see yourself as a grappler. This guy's diff different level. Yeah. This guy's next level. You want to avoid this at all costs. Maintain distance. Do not go and grapple this guy. Getting tighter. Right there from the bottom, nicely done by Jacare Souza there. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Romero. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Five total strikes and counting have already found the mark for Yoel Romero. Beautiful diving strike lands. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Romero. Shakane's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Romero's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. 10 seconds. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. While we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. All right, round two forthcoming here. Yoel Romero. And that man, Shakane Souza. Just misses with the straight right. Gets in the clinch. Right hand punch in the clinch. Effective punch there by Jacare Souza. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Fighter trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, Souza's looking to pass here. Denied by the opponent. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. So as we call on the fight stats here, DC, 68 total strikes and counting have already found the mark for Yoel Romero. And pretty efficient as well, landing with 81% accuracy against Jacare Souza. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit of a huge 
shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice one, two there. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Under two minutes to go. Effective punch there by Romero. Isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transitions. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Seconds left. Oh, do something. Let's lay on him. I mean, how many can he take? So a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Single hollow tie now. Boy, tie plump. Oh, oh. oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Position here. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Oh! Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Oh, and he pins the arm down, and that is it. So the he tap got, comes shortly thereafter. He got the arm straight, right? The moment he was able to break the lock, John, his opponent was in trouble. Hip pressure up. Opponent had to tap. And he tapped and he lives to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight. Chocolate gets the finish in round three. Well, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. All right, so there's the man they're all chasing at 185 pounds, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, and the celebration is on after the big submission win here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 12 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by tap out. And new UFC middleweight champion Right, 
So we got a new UFC middleweight champion, and this is a title that no one can ever take away from you. He's got a UFC belt at his home for the rest of his life. For the rest of his life. And they say it takes a village to build a champion. Yeah. If you look behind him,